Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is April the 5th, 2013. Okay, so this is my new desktop. I've had it for a few days now. I'm pretty, uh, pretty revealing it in this. This is this basically is showing us as what of what I believe. This is the. Earth. It looks like we're standing on the Earth in the picture, but this is this is somebody's art. You know, it's you can take it for what it's worth. I take it for what I see. And uh, what I see is this being the Earth. And this being the moon, and if you watch my last couple videos, you'll you'll be able to see the same thing: that the moon is probably bigger than the Earth. Believe what you want. I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just trying to show you what I've realized over the last three years of doing these overlays of the moon's surface over the Earth. Okay, and I know I know when I first started, I tried to do it the size that they say the moon is, and it, and I and I thought I saw it fit, but it fits. It does fit. Let me just show you my. Some a little update on my latest one here. This is a. That's the moon. That's the Earth. Let me just show you here. You can watch my late, last video I just uploaded, and you'll see that the moon has to be that size because that one uh, that I showed right here. This it was a. That's that's the true size of the moon. Here's the south pole of the moon, just the south pole, not, not the rest of the moon, but just the south pole of the moon. And what I lined this up with, the, I made a video the other day showing I was rebuilding the supercontinent, and I only had Africa, South America, and Australia involved in it. Well, I, I was I went to bring up North America, United States, and it, and I went to put it in place, and I put it a bunch of different places over over uh, Africa for at first, and and it turned out to be the same places that they that I put them in the in the old days when I used to do this. Same places, I you know, it's just. It's, it's like I'm still seeing the same exact thing, and it's and it's confirming it better this time. I have more confirmation th that it's absolutely true. So here you go. This is uh, the south pole of the moon over Africa, right? And I, the other day I showed that circle right there, but I had a Schrodinger over this way a little bit too far. Okay, so I've realigned it. it this is where I had it at first, actually. I Actually, the first time I put it up, I had it in this spot. But then I, I moved it to adjust it to something else, and, and you know, sometimes you do that. But this right here, Schrodinger, is the key. This is the absolute key to finding out everything that you need to know about the moon and the earth. Okay, so Schrodinger, right there in the center of Africa, right here. You see the big circle? It hits right there. I can assure you I'm going to prove it in a minute. Okay, so that hits right there. Now, in order to put the North America or the United States over Africa in the proper location, what you need to do is you need to take a look at North America, the United States, and you need to see that there is also a big circle right in the middle of the United States, the same size as the one I just showed you. That so you'll need to take and save a picture of North America and bring it over here and put it right in that spot. And when you do that, after you do that, here let me just uh yeah show Schrodinger. Here, there's North America. I'm not saying it's all perfectly aligned at the moment, but you see I got that lined up with the circle there. When you do that, after you do that, you'll look at this, and you'll fade this in and out over Africa, and take a look at Central America. When just lining up that circle right there, I also got Central America in the right place. Look at the shape around Africa there. That's created at the same time. These this shape and this shape are created at the in the same place on the Earth. One thing's been moved off the top of the other thing. Okay, they were both in the same place at the same time, but an uh, impact by our moon pushed one off the other. Okay, they were in, the, but they were created in the same place. That shape, definitely. Now you could probably take and move North America a couple times and have it fit over Africa, because it was it moved around. This was probably Lake Victoria at one time, so I'm I'm thinking Africa moved off the top of North America probably. Because these volcano, these volcanoes are super massive, super massive volcanoes. I mean, super, super volcanoes, and they create the continents basically. But they also created in layers. A layer, a volcanic eruption creates a layer, and then another, and then once that hardens and cools down, another one comes. A moon hits again, creates another one, and there's another layer, builds it, and then when it, after the layers are all built on the Earth from these impacts, the moon still hits the Earth. And it pushes a layer, it hits somewhere in the ocean or somewhere, and it pushes the layers off the top of the other layer. Because they cool at different times, they don't, they don't absolutely connect. You know how things bond that way. You can't connect something, a cold rock, to a hot rock, and it, doesn't, it won't have a, a strong bond. 
right? So that's basically the way I see this happening. Now let me just show you what happened when I, after I lined this up and brought up the, the two other uh, continents that I was working with the other day. And, and I haven't moved those at all. All I moved was the, the crater itself. The crater all by itself I moved. Where did it go? This one here. I moved this to line up with Africa in the center in the right spot. Once I moved that and, and adjusted it with North America, <coughs> excuse me, to fit North America there, I brought up the other two continents. And, the, and they fit better than they did before. Better. So here's Australia. Take a look at how Australia fits over this crater now that I moved it to fit Africa properly. Look at that. Look at this spot right here. Just follow this spot and then follow, follow it around after you see that spot. Look. Now look at everything else. It's hard to see in this picture because the picture they don't give you details, but this this hits here. That puts it in place. Let's take a look at that over North America. While while we got it up there, let's just take the crater away. Look at it, look at it over North America. Now, I, I what's probably a little bit out of alignment is that one crater that was right here just a second ago. It probably hits right here in Australia because you see in Canada there's a perfect circle right there in Canada. Nobody seems to know what that what creates that. Well, I do. I know exactly what creates it. And that would be that crater I just showed you. This crater right here. That crater creates it. Or hits it. it, it at least one creates the other. You know, one or the other. But something created it to begin with and it would be an impact. Okay. I mean, you can see, you can see uh, this island up here. Look. And it's, all, the, all the angles are, are right. Everything's in the right spot. Then I bring up South America over this crater. I take away Australia and bring it up and see how it fits with the crater now. And just check it out. Now, this, uh, there's also another way this could fit. This, this is also Schrodinger right here. Right here. So I, I could probably fit it in a couple different ways. I could probably change the way that it, I have it right now and have it still fit. With Schrodinger up here. It put Schrod move this where Schrodinger is. This is over Schrodinger and it'll fit probably better than it fits right here. But it hit here too. As you can see, you can see the, the edge of South America. To back it off, you can see the entire shape of South America. Especially this stuff in here. Look at this area here. And this area here. Wow. It, it takes a little practice to see what know what you're seeing, but you got to see that. That's that's very very. I can turn the borders on because I, I'm, I'm building this off of Africa so it should all be correct. Turn the borders on, see how that looks. Well, there's the crater Schrodinger, basically these countries here in Africa. And then, uh, let's see, look how it fits around the, the crater itself. Um, bring that to the top. Look at that, look, how the, look at how it fits, watch. Look at that. Look at this curve in right here. See the curve? And look at North America. Look at that. That follows that perfectly. Perfectly. And that just falls into place. See, I didn't plan none of that. That's what my, my point is. I didn't plan that to be there. I, I'm lining up this crater. So it, I didn't plan that. So it, it couldn't have worked out any better, is what I'm trying to say. It, it's showing you the absolute truth of this planet. And how things are created on this earth. You can believe the documentaries, the scientists if you want. But I'm telling you, they don't tell you the truth because of the gold and everything else. And you believe whatever you want. Like I always say, believe what you want. But I'm telling you, if you look into, the, look into things a little deeper, you'll find the truth. And whether it's a happy, whether it's a happy ending, I don't know. You know it's, it, it makes me happy to know the truth. That's it. Bottom line. I know the truth. It makes me, that in itself makes me happy. All on its own. So, you know, whether the future is, may not be so bright for the, for the earth, that's not, it, it has nothing to do with man, humans destroying the, the environment or any of that, because it's going to destroy itself someday. So it doesn't really matter. It matters, but it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? As much as they, as much as they say it matters, and th as much as they say they'll be able to prevent it from happening by charging you some kind of carbon tax, that's bullshit. So anyways, have a good day. Check it out.